So hello there, the name is Prince Chuma and I warmly welcome you back to PTS Studios. So in today's tutorial, I would like to walk you through how to design a staff ID. Yes. And then you can check into the description below. The link is there for you to download this folder. This is everything that we'll be using in this tutorial. This is a QR code. This is um, the mock-up that we'll be using. And then this particular guy here is what we are going to use as our main subject. Okay. So without very much ado, let's get started. So when you open, um, I know most of you would ask how um, the mock-up works or anything at all. So this is how it works. You're actually going to open this and then you double click on this to open for you here. Yeah. I've already opened it and then um, this is it. So I just have to close one of them. So let me close this. So moving on, what you do is to um, press on this um, little icon here to drop down this particular one here. So we have this and then we have this. So we're going to work on the first one first. So first thing first, let's double click here to open the smart objects for us. And then we're going to replace our design with uh, this design that came with a mockup. So what I'm going, what, 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 what I'll do is to hide this. And then I'm going to create a solid color behind. So let me just pick white. And then after doing it, I'm going to lock this layer here. So now the next thing I would like to do is to pick my pen tool. I pick the pen tool, zoom out, and then make sure I change it from path to shape. And then um, let me pick a point here. And then let me pick another point here. And then let me just draw. I don't want it to be perfect, but um, I think I want something like this. So I'm just going to close it up this way. I'm just going to close it up this way and then um control t for free transformation and i'm going to open it up a little bit okay. i just want to leave a space here so i'm going to open it up a little bit this way and then i'm going to leave it here so let's add some gradients to this so we double click here and then we open gradient overlay okay. so i think this gradient is okay for me here um or let's see okay so let me go with a blue let me go with a blue color. Let me choose this one. Okay. So I think this will do. Um, I have to change this one here. Okay. So I think this will do for me. So now the next thing I'd like to do is to create a portion where I will insect my um, image. Yeah. So, um, Let's pick the ellipse tool and then let's draw a circle. So um, with a circle, you can just leave it on any color. Because at the end of the day, we're going to create a clip of mask. It's not going to show. So um, let's draw the circle. And then let's get our subject inside the circle. So we drag and then we drop it here like this. And then we have to create a clip of mask. So in creating the clipping mask, we have to come to the top layer here, right click, and then we select create clipping mask. So immediately we pick that, it's just going to insect it for us this way. And then um, let's adjust this. I just want to take the hand out. Okay. So basically this is how our subject is going to be on our style ID. So the next thing we'd like to do is add a name. So let me just give him um, a random name. Let me just type Kwame. Okay. So um, let's reduce the size. And then let's close this up a little bit. So I'm going to change the color from black to white. I think it's too close. Yeah. So this should be cool. So I'm going to name him Kwame. And then I have to add one more name to it. Um, let me just add my last name. So let's just say this is, um, 
this is the name that I'm giving to my subject. That is Kwame um, Anyamedu. And then um, let's give him a position. So let's just say he's the uh, creative director or something. Okay, so um, he's a creative director. And then um, I want to use something um, very thin. So let me see if Nexa has what I want to use. Um, no, I don't think so. So let me pick a different font. Yeah, I think this will do. So I'll just adjust it. I'll just have to adjust it a little bit. Um, I think the creative director is okay. Let me just leave it that way. Let me just leave it up. So um quickly let me just draw this at the background here. And then I'm going to change the color into white. And change this color to this blue to get it this way. So let me lock this one. I think this should be locked. Yeah. So um I think if you have any text to write or anything at all, um, you can just put it here like this. So, with this, um, let's see. I just want to add something, but I don't know what to write. I actually don't know what to write there. So, um, I'm just going to keep it simple. So, let's see. Let me take this side out. Um, yeah. It's really not necessary for you to add anything, but um, I just felt like adding something small to it. Yeah. I just felt like adding something to it. So you can just choose to add something to yours or just leave it that way. So if you're cool, then we move. So then, last thing I would like to add is to add um, a QR code to it. Initially, I was planning to put this at the background, but um, let's see. So you can just put the QR code somewhere here. Um, let me see. Okay, so this actually has two sides. It has two sides. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the QR code out here. And then I'm going to put it on the other side of the card. So for the front, we are going to have this particular style here. This one. So as you may have a logo or something you want to add, you can just add that somewhere here. You can just add it at the top here. So um, let's just see what we have done so far. Let me unlock this. This should be here. Yeah. So let's see what we have done so far. So if you are done and you want it to uh, actually uh, appear on the mock-up, what you have to do is to press Ctrl or Command S on the keyboard, and then it's going to show. So this is how the front is going to look like. So let's work back one now. So let's double click with the same. Um, principle we use for the first one we create a solid color and then let's lock it um, so let's see so now instead of me drawing using the pen tool to draw it this way let's pick a different style let's pick a different style so let's just say um, we are going to apply the gradients to the whole um, canvas here. so let's select this same kit here and then we have to create a Place or let me say a portion for the QR code. Yeah. So um, I would like to bend the edges this way. And then now I think I can bring in my QR code now. Yeah. I can just bring in my QR code now. So how about me changing this to height? Yeah. So perfect. 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 So let's see how this actually works. So control S and then let's see. Okay. Okay. Um, I think the whole thing wasn't centered. So let's see. So let's center it this way. 
Um, and then looking at this side, I feel the back is kind of plain. It's too plain. So um, let's just add something to it. So let me draw this line. And then Control T for free transformation. Right click and then I choose Warp. So with the Warp, you can just play around with it. You can just play around with it. And then I think you are going to get something nice. So um, let's just see. Control S. And then let's see how it appears here. So yeah, this is actually how it appears here. I think to me, this stuff ID is perfect. It's perfect. So you can just play around and see if um, you can get something different. And then let's, you can play out around and then you see. Yeah, you can just play around. You can also change the color of the background if you want. So yeah. So this is what we have done today. Just make sure you check into the description to be able to download the files that I use. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't understand anything, you can just um, push a comment in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer you. Thank you for showing up. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And once again, like the video and share the link. The name is Prince Chu. Anime, you can call me Pam Photoshop. And this is PTA Studios. I'm out.